This is the desktop app for Windows we made in previous tutorial and if you haven't seen the tutorial you'll find a link in the description. This is part 2. And now let's make this app database driven. So let's go to program files and in our app directory my desktop app and then www folder and here we create our database files to create new and if you're unable to create any file here since it's in program files and if Windows does not allow you to do that, so there's another way. Open any text editor you want, like Sublime Text, and run it as administrator. So this will allow you to create files there. So this is that www directory we're working on. So create new file here and save it as mydatabase.db. Close it, and you can see it's created here. And to open this database file, we're going to use this program, DB Browser for SQLite. You can download this for free. I've given you the link in the description, so download and install it from there. So let's open this, run as administrator, and open the database that we created, mydatabase.db. And let's create a table, users, add some fields, ID, this is primary key, and we'll have auto increment. Email will be text type and password also a text. Full name also a text. Okay. And to save our changes, click write changes. Open your index.php file. So now let's make some queries to create a row in our users table in our database. Remove this line. We don't need this anymore. So we create a connection to our database by using this class mydb that extends SQLite 3 and in our constructor we simply open our database mydatabase.db that we have here. So now let's make an instance of this class. So db equals new mydb and we'll use this db object to execute our database queries. First you create a query to insert data in users and this is how we execute it. So save and reload our app so that this index.php will run again and the script will run. So go to our database and refresh our table, users, and you can see that the data has been saved. So this was the insert query and now let's read this data onto our index.php page. So remove all of this and here is our simple query to select data from users and we query that and save it in dollar result. And now we fetch away our result in this row and this row will have all the keys. So let's check our ID, save and reload. So you can see the ID. Similarly, we can get all the data of a row. And here you can see the contents of a row. And if you have multiple rows in our table, new record, email, password and full name, administrator, write changes and in our index.php we have to iterate through this using a while loop and grab all this code in the loop, change this PR to HR so we can see in separate rows, save and reload. And here are all the rows from our database. So this is how we create an app for Windows and PHP. If you like this video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching.